Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese or Rashad Cub, and welcome back to another episode of our Hexit Let's Play Adventure. That is right. I have been reading the comments. I've seen you guys raging. No, oh, come on, Rashad, we want more Hexit. Stop slacking off. Well, I'm done slacking off, and when I say slacking off, I mean working because I do have a job. You guys know that, right? Like, okay, just making sure. Uh, anyway, we're finally back in here. We're finally ready to get started. I've done a whole lot, and believe it or not, I'm still having crash issues. And I think it's just got to do something with the way the, the, the game communicates with my computer. A lot of people have said it's RAM. Can't be RAM. I'm giving it 12 gigs. If it needs more than that, there's definitely something wrong with it. Yes, it's updated to the latest version. Speaking of which, a whole lot of new stuff in Tinker's Construct to look at. Uh, we'll look at that here in a second, though, because I've got some things I need to show you guys that I've been working on. Not the rain. Didn't do that. I did, however, extend my farm out, and I've been breeding chickens and cows, because I think those are the most useful animals. A sheep, eh, you make a bed. Not really so useful anymore. Cows, tons of leather, though. Pigs, I mean, all they're good for is food. You can get a whole lot out of cows, though. I've also been expanding the berry farm down here. And we've got a ton of berries. We have brought the uh, the raspberry back from the brink of extinction. And as you can see, we just have a ton of raspberries now. It's it's great. Growing them in this weird sort of a, a like skyscraper pattern. Because it's, it's the best you can do, really, when you're talking about like trying to save space and stuff. That's not all we've been working on, though. If we head up here, say hi to the those things. If we go over here, though, you guys remember those metal th plants that we found? Well, I planted them in here and complete what the heck was that? Was that lightning? That did not sound like lightning. That sounded like an explosion. Um, I don't know what to think that was. Right, so anyway, I planted them in here, and as you can see, they're growing up quite nicely. They do have to be in the darkness, as I discovered. What was that explosion, though? Good grief. Yeah, see anything fishy out there? Was that maybe a meteor? I know meteors supposedly make explosions when they hit, but I don't... It sounded kind of close. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Ah! No, that's a tower. Alright, what is that? I don't want to make a marker. Stop it. Stop it. The meteor that we found over here just left a little mark like that when it landed. <sighs> You guys see anything that screams giant meteor impact site? No, me either. Maybe we'll go looking for it later. Got to stay focused right now though on the here and now. Tinker's Construct has been updated. We got this thing here where you can put new cool stuff like a knapsack. You guys ever want to make a knapsack? I totally want to make a knapsack. What goes into making a... Where's my... Hold on. Uh, oh. What, what happened to the... Oh, hold on. They got rid of it when we open up this interface. Well, that stinks. Oh, well. We know how to get back to it. So, knapsack. Leather. Oh, a tough tool. Good gosh. That was lightning. We know that was lightning for sure. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to stand outside during a thunderstorm. Maybe that was a bad idea from the beginning. We'll worry about the knapsack later. It's not really a priority at the moment. What is a priority is we need to build a smelter, you guys. Because in the new... Oh, did I show you this yet? I haven't shown you this yet. I built a, uh, a construct. A Tinker's Construct basement sort of place to tinker. Uh, but it, I, I thought it was cool. We need to build a... Good grief. Lightning strikes are everywhere. Maybe that's what we were hearing. It's not... Definitely not meteor. It's just lightning hitting things. And I bet you that means there's some supercharged creepers running around now. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, hopefully the house won't catch on fire. So we're going to build a smeltery in this uh, this new updated version of Tinker's Construct because in order to do anything with metal, you have to have a smeltery. That's right. No longer can we just make metal tools. We've got to have a smeltery, which stinks. Absolutely stinks, but that's fine. I think I remember how to make it, but just in case, we're going to take Materials New Volume 2, update it to Volume 3, and if I'm not mistaken, that ought to show us... No? Maybe not? Ah! Volume 3. There we go. I think you can actually go back to Volume 1 if you put it back in here. No, you can't. Okay, we're stuck with it. That's fine. So, we're going to need to build a smeltery controller, a seared tank, nine seared bricks, a faucet, and a casting table. Now, the reason is, beforehand, you guys remember, we were able to make iron tools just by, you know, throwing iron in there. That don't work no more. 
I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you're crazy, Reese. Of course it does. No, it doesn't. I discovered this. Where's my iron? What? Did, oh, yeah. Mm. This isn't my day. So if we run downstairs here, and uh, let's bring this thing up. Not the stencil table. St what? What the? What happened there? Why are there two stencil tables? That's not right. What the heck? Alright, well, I'm not gonna lie. That's not the only weird thing that's happened since I updated. That's fine, though. We can easily make another... What is it called? Part builder? What is that? That's just a oak peat log and a blank pattern. There we go. No big deal. We got ourselves another part builder. Although I'm still kind of weirded out. Is this still a tool station? Okay. <laughs> so if we put that in there and we put in a piece of iron and let's say we just want to make a, a pickaxe. Nope. Sorry. Not going to happen anymore. No. No bueno. Sorry. Just no. We have to actually smelt it down now. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Which means that we're going to have to, uh, to build a smeltery. And I've been talking about that. Looks like for like four minutes now, so maybe we should actually go ahead and do it. Gotta make the seared bricks first, because that's sort of the basis of everything. So let's see. Seared brick. Requires some grout, which is going to be sand, gravel, and clay. How many of those things do we actually have? Sand, gravel, marble. Mmm. We're off to a good start so far, he said sarcastically. Looks like we're going to have to go do some digging here, people. We have a little bit of a shovel. Now, I don't suppose I can just add metal to the shovel to repair it real fast, can I? They change that as well. No, good. Okay, so that still works. Fantastic. So we need to go find some clay. Go find some sand. We need to find some gravel. I wish it wasn't raining. Hey, guys, you know what? We still haven't built a bed yet. There, we built a bed. Getting stuff done. Aw, oh, yeah. Now, finding clay is thankfully not that difficult anymore. It's generally you're able to find it in just some water. So if we jump off of here... Yeah, right there, baby. Found exactly what we're looking for. Plenty of clay. There's also plenty of sand right next to it, so this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this stuff. And we'll go ahead and get some sand. And we just so happen to have some gravel over here. How fortuitous. Oh yeah, baby. This is how it's done right here. This thing is fast. Creeper spotted. Advancing on creeper. Oh, we've been sighted. Engaging creeper. Engaging creeper. Captain, the creeper has exploded. Ah, captain on fire. Captain on fire. I'm not really sure how much of this stuff we're going to need, but I just kind of saw it over here and I was like, hey, might as well. Never know, might come in handy. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing an Enderman with a backpack. Ooh, and a skeleton. So the Enderman with the backpack, that's just a distraction from the Ender, uh, from the skeleton. Let's, let's see if we can take this guy down and see if he'll leave us his backpack. Whoa, where'd he go? He's not going to like it anywhere out there, it's raining. Does he really have 60 hit points? What? What kind of madness is that? Well, I got no idea where he went now. Hmm. What well, stinks? There we go. Just woke up from a nice little nap. I was kind of hoping it would be daylight when we woke up, but no, that's too much to ask for. Alright, but we got what we wanted here, so let's see if we can make us some seared bricks. Actually make quite a bit of grout. Might as well make a lot of it. Throw that in there with some coal. And might as well split this process up a bit and get this stuff out as quick as we can. Now once we get that seared bricks, we're also going to need to make some uh, 
I think everything that we're building pretty much requires some form of seared something or another, so this is this is good. We're also going to need to make some glass. Glass seems to be a pretty important thing to have. Did I have any sand left over after that? I sure did not. Mm. Well, at least it's done raining, so it'll be a little bit more of a pleasant trip to collect sand. Alrighty, we're back here. See how this is going with quite a few seared bricks. Let's go ahead and put some of this in there, though. And get us some glass cooking up. And let's go ahead and collect all the seared bricks. And we're going to need how many... Okay, we're going to need nine of these. So, let's go ahead and create those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So, we got those. And actually, we can go ahead and put these down as well. I think I know exactly how to do it. If we pull those down here. They go three on the bottom. In some fashion or another. And there we go. All right. We're actually going to need more than that, though. Because we have to use some for the walls. And I didn't actually anticipate... The fact that this would have to be expanded out a bit. There we go. And that bit back there is kind of ugly, but we're not going to worry about it. It'll be covered up here in a minute anyway. So let's head back upstairs. Glass is going well. Definitely get some more of these. And let's put some more grout into both of these. Keep those going. And the first thing we need to go ahead and build, I guess. Whoa, how did I end up with two of these? Oh, that's right, you get one for making seared bricks. So, I wasted a book. Great, good to know. Good to know. Let's go ahead and make a smeltery controller. Which we can make. We're also going to need a smeltery drain, so remember those recipes. I think I can remember those in my head. And as you guys know, I have a really hard time remembering recipes in this game for some reason. Alrighty. So we've got the controller, and we've got the the drain. Next up, we should build... I don't think we need tanks. I do know we need a casting table and a faucet, though. And we might actually need one seared tank. That's right. Okay. I'm trying to remember. See, when I get confused, I turn to the greatest. I turn to Direwolf, and I just watch his videos. And I do remember him building a tank. <laughs> Is it sad that I already forgot the recipe for this? There we go. Seared tank. Fish some more of these out of here. So we've got the tank. We've got just the faucet and the, the uh, casting table, I believe, is all we have left. Which is going to be... Okay, and... Okay, and I don't know what that is, but I'm not... Oh, yes, I do, but we're not going to be using one of those. So we're not going to worry about it. Yep, so that's a casting basin. We don't need one of those. We do need a casting table, though. And the faucet. Alrighty, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and make a few more, though, of, uh, of these... Or more. We'll head downstairs, and this is a multi-block structure, so let's see. We're definitely going to need more seared bricks. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is so not going to be enough. Uh, it's that part in the book where it says any combination of ten seared bricks, seared tanks, or drains. Wasn't paying attention there. Yeah, so we're definitely going to need at least ten of these. Not necessarily these, though, and we don't have to put that over there like that. So let's see, we know that the smeltery controller is probably going to go there. I'll probably put the drain on over here. And, hmm, hmm. Part of me wants to do it the way Direwolf did it, and the way Direwolf did it, it's going to require a lot more resources. Let's stay focused, though. We're going to need that seared tank. Go ahead and throw that right there. Just throw one of these in the middle. One of those there. A couple in the back. We actually have exactly what we need here. Just go ahead and put the drain right here. Let's reference our book real quick. 
you get an idea of exactly what we're doing. Looks like the drain is right there, so this will work. Hmm. Hold on. There we go. Put the table down there. Oops, no, don't do that. We want to hook the faucet up right here. There we go. So we did it. We did it. We kind of hacked one together here real quick. And let's let's pretty it up some if we can. Oops. Ah, darn it. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, you see it's lit up, so that's a good sign. It is working. We can't actually smelt a whole lot in there right now. We can only look like uh, put nine metals in at a time. But that's, that's really all we need for right now. We do need to put lava in it, though. And I think we all know where we can find some lava. I really need to figure out a better way to get up and down. This whole, uh, this whole staircase thing takes forever. Alright, we got ourselves a little bit of lava here. Not a whole lot, but... I think there's some more over there someplace. Kind of just caught my... Yeah, right over there. So we can head over there and get that if we need it. hungry. Stop for a quick snack. That'll get the job done. Alright, so it just goes in there. And uh, that's not a whole lot, but as you can see, we do have some, so that'll kind of get us by. And that's the smeltery! Hot diggity dog, we did it. Now we're not done yet though, because we still can't just make tools. We actually have to, uh, we have to make some, oh, what are they called? Some recipes? A recipe? You hear my voice crackling right there? So, uh, grout, we know how to do, we know how to do all of that. We need to skip ahead. It's not gonna show us anymore? Okay, well that's fine, because I know exactly what we need to do. We need to run upstairs. We need to go ahead and grab our aluminum that we found and the copper that we found and I remember this recipe even though I don't think it's in this book here and that's the weird thing oh yeah yeah there it is right there bronze made from uh, three copper one tin aluminum brass and that's what we need right there three aluminum and one copper okay that's great so it does have a, a list of things right there but what we're gonna have to end up making is let me see if I can what are they called hmm. ah there we go Casts. That's what we're making. Have to make one of these. A blank cast. We can make it downstairs. First, we need to get these, these metals cooking up. So if we open this thing up here, we can put in our three aluminum. And it was one copper, correct? To get our aluminum brass. Three aluminum and one copper, yes. That's going to melt up. And while that's melting up, and you can see they're, they're in there right now, and they will melt down rather quickly actually yeah it's not gonna take us too long you guys want to see what it looks like well you'll see what it looks like when we come back down right now we need to go make some basic uh, da, 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 da. do we have any flint we can use flint or we can just use stone and believe it or not I think we're gonna go with stone I can't remember if it's stone though what what oh it's it's tin ore really okay can't remember if it's stone or cobblestone well let's head downstairs and for instance let's say we want to be able to make a metal a metal pickaxe right we want to be able to do that we have to do is we have to go ahead and make a pickaxe there we go drop that in here under the stencil table ah there we go so that's all melted down now we're just waiting on the copper there we go all right so now when we just tap the faucet there it'll fill in a cast around that pickaxe head and there we go people we have now regained our ability to create parts our tools out of metal so we've got that and we probably need how do I mm, how do I do it though I don't remember I don't remember guys what do I do oh now I remember never mind I take that back we uh, we just put that back in there and then we smelt down iron release it from the faucet into here super simple process we need to go ahead and make some more casts though so let's see iron uh, we got pickaxe head that's a pretty basic one what are some other ones that we're probably gonna need well, I mean, tool rod, that's that's definitely one we're going to need, so we should probably go ahead and make that. I'm going to go ahead and make some more patterns, and then I'll, we'll come back when I'm done with that and see what we can do. 
Alrighty guys, there we go. I just made all the parts we need to make like a pickaxe, for example. There's one more thing I want to do though. If we just right click here, we'll get a blank cast. Let that chill. There we go. We can plug that out real fast. And we can actually take it over here to the stencil table. And we can get a ingot cast. And that's the only one you can actually get out of the stencil table. You can't make any other ones. So there we go. We've got we've got the basics here. Now let's run upstairs. And we will grab ourselves some iron out of this chest. Let's grab half a stack. And if we want to go ahead and create a pickaxe, what we gotta do is we gotta put the pickaxe head in there. And then we've got to smelt down some iron. So we'll throw the iron in there. And I think if you add more lava to this, it actually makes it go a lot faster. So while that's smelting down, I think I'm going to go grab some more lava. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Hold on, guys. I think I might have found something here. Whoa! Holy crud! You guys remember that massive explosion we heard earlier? I think it might have been a, uh... <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, gosh, what happened to it? Oh, I broke it! Oh, that's not good. That's that's not good. Okay, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't touch it. We should just leave it alone. I guess I can't... I harvested it with my pick before, though. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Yeah, fallen meteors, guys. Look at that. Ridiculous! Wow! Oh, that is that 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 was very close to my house. That's not comforting at all. But there we go. So I guess we have stuff to make meteor tools now. Good grief! Well, that's very interesting. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to mine it though, because it's not letting me do it with my pick, and that's not normal. But I gotta get up there somehow. Should have thought about that beforehand. Guess we need to noob tower this thing. There we go, got the lava. Head back downstairs to the awkward staircase, and uh, hey look, there's a, a death location from a previous episode. Nah. Someone told me if I break this grass over here, I get stuff out of it. Look at that, you get arrows. Cool. Alright, we're back inside. We've got some more lava. Need to dump that in there real fast. It looks like the iron is already done, so if we release it from the faucet, it'll fill up the cast. Solidify. And look at that, people. We have got ourselves a stone pickaxe head. So that's how you do it. And of course, we can go through and we can, you know, use the rest of this stuff and make more. But uh, we're not going to because we don't really need to right now. Can I store the stencils in here? I can indeed. Fantastic. So we're not really going to worry about that right now. We've uh, we we we've already built a uh, a, a pickaxe, and it's a really good pickaxe. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it right there, though. We've got the smell tree up and running. It looks pretty good. It's it's burning hot. Fuel is is good, I guess. It's not it's not as full as it could be. And I'm kind of worried what's gonna happen when it runs out. I guess we can just build another portal though and not worry about it. Speaking of which, what was that? This series that I collected obsidian for another portal? Or was that a completely different series? Am I imagining things? I thought for sure... Oh yeah, okay, I did. We might just have to go there someday. But we'll find out later. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.